Now on Denver 7 News at 6, here comes another rate hike. I'm optimistic we can kind of navigate through all this. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be uncomfortable. We're going 360 in-depth on the impact for your home, your job, and the costs we're all paying at the store. Also, breaking from overnight, Russian President Vladimir Putin issues new threats against Ukraine as world leaders gather at the UN General Assembly. The response we'll hear today from President Biden. He's an AV for life. Nate McKinnon signs a blockbuster deal as the team looks to hold on to the Stanley Cup for another year. I always admire players who are with one franchise. I think that's pretty special. Uh, he's a franchise player, and, and we're really excited that he'll, he'll remain here in Colorado for the rest of his career. Yeah, we're excited to have him. Uh, enjoy the clear skies this morning while you can, uh, because a big weather change is coming yeah. today. Going to feel more like fall. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Nicole Brady. And I'm Brian Sanders. Yeah, and feel like hockey season yeah. here as uh, we're hours away from the official start of fall, uh, but it's already going to feel like it mm -hmm. today. What a change. Yeah. 90s yesterday, have a 30 degree yeah. shave off those temperatures. Wow. It's a pretty big wow. deal. Yeah. <laughs> and wet conditions on the way too. Right now we are seeing some wet roadways up across parts of northeastern Colorado. Here in town, mainly just cloud cover, but by this afternoon, those roads will be wet for the evening commute. And in the mountains, we're looking at some pockets of heavy rain within the next two days. In fact, upwards of around two to four inches in spots. We'll take a closer look at some of those rainfall totals coming up. Low 60s right now. We're going to maybe see about a two to three degree warm up into the mid 60s between about noon and one. That'll be it for the day. 60s across the plains, actually a little bit warmer across parts of the high country here this afternoon. That cold front sinking in from the north, backing in along the front range, and a lot of subtropical moisture coming in from the southwest. So combined, we're going to be in for some pretty cloudy, gray, wet days today and tomorrow. We'll take a closer look again at some of this rain, but Jason, you can see obviously by late afternoon, early evening, it's going to be a different story here in town. And we do have some wet roads up to the northeast side of uh, Colorado right now. I-76 really getting pounded right by, or a little bit east of of brush here. You can see I-76 moving normally now, uh, at least through brush and sterling, but as you take a look at the map up that way, I am seeing quite a bit of slow tra slower traffic right around Crook and heading up to Julesburg with those storms that at least have been talking about up in northeastern Colorado. Right now, I'm still seeing a slight restriction coming down off of I-70 to southbound 225 from the camera. Well, well this is the 270 camera, and you can see that slower traffic in here, um, and it's uh, just a little bit slow. Very typical stuff for us passing York, getting on over past the refinery, but uh, if it it is still restricted when you head out there this morning. You could always use chambers to get around it, but it should be opening right now as there's no good cameras in there. Unfortunately, the rest of the drives just getting a little bit busier in some of those usual spots. Well, a heads up before you head out the door. We are following some breaking news, especially if you're in the North Metro uh, Adams 14 School District. Adams City High School in Commerce City has canceled all classes and extracurricular activities today. The school is investigating a threat that has been circulating on social media, so we are working to learn more about it. But as of now, the school says classes will resume tomorrow. Also this morning, we're expecting the Federal Reserve to announce another interest rate hike. It is, of course, an attempt to bring down the high prices we're paying on everything from food to clothes. But some are worried today's announcement could go too far and send the stock market spiraling. We're going 360 in depth to put inflation and interest rates into some perspective this morning. And we're talking to experts about another possible solution to bring down high prices. We're also taking a closer look at how rising interest rates impact your ability to buy a home or sell your home. And many of us use credit cards to buy groceries and other essential items right now, so we have ways to help keep your debt in check. ABC's Alex Perche kicks off our team coverage from Washington. Today, the Federal Reserve is set to announce a policy that affects your money, increasing a key interest rate by an expected three quarters of a point in hopes of tamping down inflation. I'm optimistic we can kind of navigate through all this. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be uncomfortable. Investors are worried the Fed could go even further today and raise rates by a full point after seeing last week's higher than expected inflation report. A full point increase could send the market into a tailspin. If they do, that would be a surprise to me and to markets, to investors. It'd be a pretty bad day in the stock market. The Fed is raising rates to throw cold water on the overheated economy by making it more expensive to borrow money. The hope is that will stop prices on nearly everything from continuing to rise. Americans paid 8.3% more for goods in August compared to a year ago. But in some areas, it's even worse, like in Phoenix, where prices are up a whopping 13% in the last year. I got milk at $5 for a half gallon. 
I got a cucumber, that was 50 cents. Eggs were $4 for a dozen eggs. Salad was $2 and two cans of tuna. That's gonna have to last a week. There are signs that higher interest rates are working. The housing market has weakened and construction of new homes has slowed, but prices at grocery stores are still soaring. And a new report warns home heating bills this winter could be the highest in a decade, up 17% from last year. So will today's expected interest rate hike provide any relief for your wallet? Experts say it takes time. As they say, monetary policy works with a long lag, so it'll take a little bit of time, but it will show up. The economy will slow. A bright spot in the economy remains jobs. Unemployment is under 4%, though experts think that that could possibly jump to 5% by year's end. Alex Perche, ABC News, Washington. This has had us wondering here, are rate hikes the only answer to rising inflation? Denver 7's Veronica Acosta uh, talked to a local economist, and uh, you found out that there are some signs the rate hikes are working, but there may be more to this, Veronica. Yeah, and the economist I spoke to, he said it's simple. People just want to make more money, but that can add to our inflation. He said he does worry about those companies that just can't afford to pay their employees any more money. But he also says he worries about what wage bumps can do to our current price of goods and those prices long term. He actually used those railroad workers who got a bump in their pay as an example here. That kind of a raise of 24% will obviously make them uh, able to spend more because higher higher wages will obviously allow them to spend more and then the prices will go up. And the big question really is, will this expected interest rate hike kind of help bring down that inflation? Listen to what Cole Carney had to say. The main reason why it will not go down significantly is because in November and December, as you know, we all consumers go wild and crazy. We buy uh, the presents, we spend a lot of money in uh, shopping and which obviously raises the which all that expenditure raises the price and we all know this but the price of things like milk and eggs those are much higher than they were maybe two or three years ago i asked cole carney if he thinks those prices will come down or what really means for it to stop inflation and he said he doesn't believe that's a thing anymore he says those prices are likely to stay where they are in denver i'm veronica costa number seven Figured that was coming. All right. Thank you, Veronica. Well, as we dig deeper this morning, another rate hike will mean it will cost you more to buy a new home. Colorado just landed on a list as the fifth most expensive state to buy a home. So even a modest interest rate hike of three quarters of a percent would impact the family's mortgage by hundreds of dollars. Mortgage interest is hovering around 6% right now, but today's Fed announcement will likely push rates to their highest level since 2008. And that could change your buying power. Realtors say buyers who could have afforded a $700,000 home back in June may now be looking in the $600,000 range. But a home is some place you want to live and you want to live there and enjoy it now. So we say, you know, marry the home, right? Buy the home that you want, um, understanding that at some point, whether it's in months or years, you have the ability to refinance in so much as date the rate, meaning you can readjust it. Yeah, inflation and the end of stimulus checks mean more of us are putting more money um, and purchases on our credit cards. But those rates, of course, are rising. Bankrate.com reports the average is now over 18 percent. Financial experts say it's easy to fall into what's called the credit card trap, where you simply don't have enough cash each month to pay even half of your monthly credit card bill. So the balance just keeps going up with interest. If you feel like you're heading in that direction, try to pay down your balance, starting with the highest credit card. Uh, look for a 0% balance transfer card if you can qualify for one and pay with cash or a debit card when possible, not with credit. We, of course, will be following the Fed's announcement today and what it means for you throughout the day on air on our website, Denver7.com and on the Denver 7 Plus app for your streaming device. We have some breaking news from overnight. Russian President Vladimir Putin is sending 300,000 reserve troops now to Ukraine. Putin also issued a new warning to the West, saying he will use all means necessary to protect what he calls Russia's territory. President Biden, meanwhile, is expected to condemn Russia's invasion today. He's speaking in front of the UN General Assembly in person for the first time since the pandemic began. Migrants are now joining a class action lawsuit against Florida officials. 
The suit accuses organizers of using false promises to get migrants on planes to Martha's Vineyard. In response last night, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis argued participation was voluntary. And Hurricane Fiona is now a Category 4 hurricane. The storm is expected to pass Bermuda late tomorrow or early Friday. The State Department is warning Americans to avoid the island right now. The storm's impact is also still being felt in Puerto Rico, where more than a million people still do not have power. Lisa. It is pretty dry right now here in town and in the mountains, but that is going to change here within the next few hours. In fact, we have aerial flood watches in effect now for the central mountains, and it does include pretty much all of southwestern Colorado. Coming up here in a few minutes, I'll show you the timing of some of this rain and how much we're expecting by tomorrow afternoon. And if any of those flood watches turn into a warning in Glenwood Canyon, we will see I-70 closed down. This is I-25 up to the north. You can see it flowing down from 84th Avenue through I-76 and coming on down to downtown Denver. So the long line of headlights is that traffic moving its way to downtown. Already about 20 to 25 minutes heading on that southbound side. Well, it's the latest TikTok trend that the FDA has to now issue a warning about what people are apparently doing with NyQuil now. Kids, put down the NyQuil. Maybe pick up a skateboard instead. Just one idea. Organization just donated 65 to a local school. They probably agree with that. We'll tell you more about that event coming up next.